Hello, my peoples. So, I look like shit and I don't care, so neither should you. So, I've said that this video was going to be coming out and it's probably going to be in two sections because it's a lot to fit into one thing. There is a trigger warning with this video. If you are a disabled person that uses a service dog and you get triggered by stories of people messing with your service dog, please don't watch this. I don't want to trigger anybody. I'm not going to be graphic. There's no video. There's no pictures. But the story is difficult. So March 2nd, Lily's mom's birthday. I'd asked her where she wanted to go for dinner. We'd all go out as family dinner. We always do for everybody's birthdays. And whoever's birthday it is gets to pick where we go. And she picked Olive Garden. We have a brand new one right up the street. It had only been open for like a day and a half. And it became my absolute nightmare. We went a little bit early because we figured, okay, maybe they won't be as busy. They were packed. There was a 45 minute wait and we got there at six o'clock. So when we went in to get the table, there was a huge discussion with the host staff and a couple of wait staff. Now, we knew by the conversation that the problem was Squigs. Not that he was a problem that he was there because we overheard part of the conversation and it was more of where are we gonna put this big, huge, giant doge to where he's not in the way and the servers can get through. And I can completely appreciate that. I truly can. So Lily's mom and I kind of looked at each other, said a couple things and chuckled because we knew what was going on. Finally, they're like, okay. And they take us over to a booth in the corner, which is absolutely fine. For some reason, there was an extra chair there and they had to remove the extra chair so Squigs had some place to be. And as we get to the table, the host was like, <laughs> Oh, is this okay? Is this going to be enough room for him? Thinking that they were giving him this big section by the wall where he could lay down. And I think they moved the chair over so they could block anybody from coming towards him. At least that's what it looked like to Stephanie and I. And I wish you could have seen the hostess's face when Squigs just automatically tucked underneath the table and laid down. She's like, Oh, so... I guess it wasn't a concern where he was going to go. <laughs> I'm like, nope, he's actually trained to tuck underneath the table and to, to sit still while we were, while we'll be here. And she's like, oh, well, that's awesome. And I told her that I appreciated the fact that they gave us a table that didn't have the big leg coming down in the front because he couldn't have tucked under then. And I, with my back injury, would have had issues with that table. So more in part two, this is going to be several parts, I feel. There's a lot to unpack here, and I mean a lot. This was the good part of what happened.